Okay, let's see how we apply stroke and fill colors to objects in uh, InDesign. Uh, here's a rectangle, I'll select it. Uh, also, if you look in the toolbox, it tells you what the, what the fill and stroke are. So we got no fill, black stroke. Now, maybe the easiest way to do it is right up on top here, we see fill and stroke. So if I click this, this will change the fill and this will change the stroke. So there we go. Now, another way to do it is with your swatches panel. Let's bring the swatches over. Now also notice there's a little graphic over here. This is right now showing that the stroke is in the front and the fill is in the back. You also see it on your color panel and in your toolbox. So now if I were to click on a color, this would change the stroke color. Oop, first, you have to select it. There you go. Now, to change the fill, we have to bring the fill uh, icon to the front. So we can just click on it, or as the tooltip says, just hit the X key. That brings the X key to the front, and now we could change the fill. Okay, another way is with the color panel. Let's move this out of the way. Here we go. Uh, so now let's get our CMYK sliders. Uh, this, by the way, this allows you to create a tint if you need to. But let's just go to our CMYK um, sliders and we can pick a color. Oh, it looks like it's mostly cyan. So you can come down here to the ramp and get something close. Okay, so we got a green and then you could fine tune it like so by moving these sliders around and there you go so again we have those same two little widgets there if i hit the x it brings the stroke to the front get your cmyk pick a color off the ramp fine tune it if you want to this will make it darker of course And that's it. Okay, now uh, another way to do it is actually with the toolbox over here. If you come over here, uh, let's bring the fill to the front. If you double click on the fill or the stroke, you'll get the color picker that you might have uh, used in Photoshop, only it's a little bit different. All right, so that'll give us a red fill. And let's change the stroke. So I'll hit the X key double click and again we get the picker and we'll give it a, a different different color stroke uh, now also if you ever want to get back to the default colors uh, you can select something and hit the uh, click this little icon here or hit the letter d on your keyboard so that'll go back to the default fill and stroke which is a no fill black stroke now let's see what we do with text. So text is a little bit different. Uh, let's click on this. So actually this text box right now has a black stroke. Uh, let's get rid of the stroke. So if the stroke is selected, we can click this over here to make it none, or we can do it in the color panel, or we can do it in the swatches. So when we select the text box, uh, something we have to pay attention to is these two little icons here. So this first one, as the tooltip says, is formatting the container. This T over here, this is formatting the text itself. And you can see these little graphics show a T. So you, right now we're dealing with the, with the text fill color. And also there's a text stroke color. Uh, so right now, if I click on a color, I'll get, I'll change the fill color of the text. There you go. Now, there is no stroke right now, but if I click on the stroke or hit the X key, we can give this a stroke color. So let's do, I don't know, red stroke, I guess. And there you go. Now, if I click on this icon here, 
This is the box itself, the container, the text box. So if I click on, so right now there's a stroke. So this will give it a stroke. We'll give it a black stroke. I'll bring the fill to the front. This will give it a yellow fill. So that's what those two little icons are about. So now also, um, if you make a new color, let's go back to this guy here and let's make a color. So right now this is nothing, but let's go to the ramp to get started. And fine tune it a little bit. So if you like that color, you know, you might want to use it again. So what you can do is you can save that color. You can go to the menu in the swatches panel and say new color swatch. There's your new color. Now, uh, I usually give it a unique name because this will be kind of hard to find in the list. So let's give it a unique name. Um, I just call it my, you know, it looks like teal, tealish. I'll call it my teal. And we'll say, okay. And there you go. It shows up in my swatches panel. Now, also, uh, with this color here, another way to do it. Well, let's do another one. Uh, let's go to our color panel, get our CMYK sliders, uh, click on the ramp. Well, let's, let's select this so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Get our sliders. Uh, let's click over here. So now we got kind of an orange. So you know what? I'll leave it like that. And we'll save that. Now, in the swatches panel, if you click the new whatever button here, this will just put it right in the list with the mix. So you probably you don't want that. It's better to give it a unique name so you can find it. So let me do an undo. And in design, whenever you're about to click on the new whatever button, it's a good idea to hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, and that'll bring up the dialog box. So now you can uncheck that and give it a new name. My orange. Yeah, it's kind of orange. Yeah, it's more like some kind of brown, but whatever. Now also down on the bottom here, you can add this to your CC library. So this lets you share it among all your Adobe programs. But we'll do that in another uh, class. So let's just say, okay. And there you go. Also, you can edit these colors. Uh, so let me deselect. So right now, nothing is selected. Uh, so if I double click on my orange over here, for example, and I make a change to it, even though nothing is selected, anything that's using that color will change. So you see I'm, I'm, I'm changing it here, but any object that's using that color will also change. Also, if you want to make a tint, you can also make a tint and save it too. So let's just bring this down to something, whatever that is, 43. Uh, you can just click the new whatever button and InDesign will automatically name it, in this case, my orange at 43%. So there's the tint, in case you want to use that over again. So again, if I change the, the main color, the tint will also change. One other quickie is you can also drag swatches onto items. If I take this, my teal here and drag it onto this stroke, we can also apply colors that way. Although I usually don't do it this way, but you can. So just drag it on the thing that you want to change. There you go. Okay, so uh, that's about it for now. So I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.